Okay, let's start off with our S orbitals, okay? S orbitals only have one spatial orientation. They are just simply spherical in shape. So in picture A here, okay, we've got the probability dots. In picture B, we just have a uh, probability mapping. And so we get higher color in the center, less color on the edges. Okay, so we have more probability of finding an electron closer to the center of the orbital. When I look at a 1s versus a 2s, okay, so what I have here is I have a number, okay, so my number is n. Remember, n is our principal energy level, okay? So n equals 1 and an s orbital. So my 1s looks like this. My 2s, when I go to my next energy level, looks like this, okay? So the shape stays the same, but the size gets bigger because now I'm out to another energy level, okay? So my energy level one is closer to my nucleus. Energy level two is further away from the nucleus. Okay, when I look at, you know, 1s, 2s, 3s, okay, I get steadily bigger in size. Now, if you remember looking at that picture of the concentric circles when I showed you the Bohr model, one thing to remember with our energy levels is that as we go out away from the nucleus, they're not all spaced equally. So I can start here, then I can go 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 here. As we go further out from the nucleus, our energy levels get closer and closer together. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth, okay? And so while we do get further away from the nucleus, the further out we go, the um, less of a change between our energy levels there is. Okay, so these are our S orbitals.